After picking up some fuel at Billaluna, we headed into Halls Creek where we filled up everything. Fuel, water, groceries, and we even got a pie. And it was on our way up the Duncan Road. Just seven minutes along the Duncan Road, you'll reach the China Wall. This wall of white quartz may not be as long as the real one, but pretty impressive nonetheless. As we continue cruising up the Duncan Road, we take a moment to visit the spot where the first gold rush began in Western Australia in July 1885. Known to the locals as Old Halls Creek, the ruins of this early town site still stand today. Several old mud brick buildings remain as testament to what was once a booming town with a population of over 3,000 people. Tonight's camp is at Salt Pit Gorge. It's a picturesque waterhole ideal for swimming amongst the lovely natural surroundings. The brochure says, float in the peaceful waters. No, I don't think so. Come on, it's July. But we did enjoy the backdrop of tall native trees and the striking rocky outcrop climbing up out of the pool. Undo them, it should come off. The, yeah. wheel, the wheel will come off, you can't turn the wheel, the wheel won't turn, the drum won't turn. Alright. 
my sunnies. Now I can have, I can get it off so you can see what's wrong with it. Pull it all apart and have no break on that side if I need to. Sorry, we were travelling so well too. All right. Dust or is it broken off? Okay, there's nothing broken in there. That has dropped down. Yeah, it's dropped down and jammed. Uh, what actually happened with the brakes on the trailer? You can see, <coughs> you couldn't see on the video, but what, uh, what actually happened was these magnets are on road ones and the on-road ones are totally different to off-road ones. The off-road ones have a, um, an insulator in the centre of them which absorbs a lot of the vibration. So we couldn't get off-road ones when we were in Alice Springs, which, um, which is a shame really. We thought the off-road, the on-road ones would do the job, but obviously they didn't. The original ones did about 30,000 kilometres and these ones have done about 300. Now you can actually see how the slots have actually elongated and what, what actually happened was the pin that holds that magnet basically wore away and with that the magnet fell down and jammed in between the brake shoe and the drum. Now we'd been actually dragging that, um, I guess a credit to the Prado, uh, it wasn't until I actually slowed down to go through a cattle grid that um, the back of the, I noticed the back of the car, I felt the back of the car start to step out slightly and when I looked in the mirror, I thought, oh, something's not right here. And we pulled up and there was smoke coming off the back of the, the trailer. So it was like all hands on deck there for a moment. The heart was palpitating. So as it is, everything, everything turned out okay, but it, the drum was that hot um, that you couldn't, physically couldn't touch it. Um, I was lucky enough we were able to just break the little clip which allowed the wheel to turn backwards. I knew once I get it to turn backwards that we'd be able to actually get the drum off once it cooled down enough. So we dis dismantled it, repacked the bearing, put it back together, and it got us through to, um, to Catherine. So that's just a bit of an explanation as to what happened. Then it was off to do the sunset cruise.
With a feed of silver cobbler in our bellies and a good night's sleep, we make tracks for Timber Creek. Liz tells me that there's a cracking sunset cruise that they do, so if we can get tickets we'll spend the night. If not, it's on to Catherine. We're currently travelling on the Victoria River. This is the longest river in the Northern Territory at approximately 600 kilometres. And we're currently around 60 kilometres from the mouth, which opens into the Joseph Bonaparte Gulf and eventually into the Timor Sea. The river is bordered by the Judborough and Gregory National Parks on one side and the Bradshaw Military Field Training Area on the other. I'll be just under four metres, but not too far off it. You can just make out the homestead which is on our right now, but it's difficult to see with the water at its current level. The river up to the right is the Angali River, which travels 40 k's around the base of the Yambaran Range, which you can see in front of us now. Then we climbed aboard the pontoon for afternoon tea and to view the sunset. What a magnificent spot. You can do a spot of fishing. <laughs> Feed the birds. Although we didn't have a lot of luck with this one. We set it out on the platform, but he wouldn't take it from there. He ended up taking it from the water. Hey folks, if you're ever up this way, do yourselves a favour and check out the Zebra Rock Mine and the Victoria River Cruises. 
both are great ways to experience the uniqueness of this great area. Next time on Expedition 2018, we base ourselves in Catherine and we explore the Mitmaluk Gorge, Edith Falls, the Cutter Caves, and we take a visit out to the Outback Experience and then head on up to the Douglas Hot Springs. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.